New here at 10, a push for changes to the controversial criminal reform bill, also known as the Safety Act. One of the biggest issues, cash bail. CBS 2's Maribel Gonzalez explains what some of the proposals address. Bail reform. For if you recall, the Safety Act was a hot issue during the November elections. If you want to reduce crime, you got to solve crime. The Safety Act must be repealed because it lets violent criminals and murderers out of jail before trial. The topic now once again coming to the forefront following State Senator Robert Peters' filing of a 308-page amendment with proposed tweaks. Attorney Tamara Walker says this is more about clarifying language than it is about changes. I think that there was a lot of propaganda originally with some of the politicians' ads, and it was highly politicized and really divisive. Some of the proposed amendments include new language specifying that the new cash bail changes will apply to those charged after January 1st. It lays out the timelines by which defendants must appear for their hearings. This depends on the severity of their charges. It also expands the number of charges for which a judge can order pretrial detention. And it clarifies that an officer can make an arrest in cases of trespassing if they deem it a threat to public safety. Prosecutors must also prove why someone poses a threat to safety. My understanding of the change is that it would require prosecutors to list specific reasons, not just a generalized statement. Attorney Walker says this amendment process is a routine one, but one that has been highlighted due to the controversial nature of the criminal reform overhaul. With any legislation that's proposed, it's new legislation, it goes through an amendment process. Different changes get proposed. This is no different than what the ordinary process is. Now, these proposed changes will still need to be approved in both houses of the General Assembly. Lawmakers are expected to vote on Thursday. Live in the newsroom, Maribel Gonzalez, CBS 2 News. Maribel, thank you.